ask, how do you deal with mask anxiety? And I've got seven different DVD coping skills that can help improve the way you cope. Hi, I'm Mallory Graham, state teen therapist, and I'm here to help you improve your mental health. Let's jump into it. You know that I am a huge fan of coping skills. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the seven improve the moment skills, which are all about helping you change the way you think and feel about a situation when you don't have much control over the circumstances, like wearing a face mask. Thank you, global pandemic. <laughs> Michael Phelps is one of the most prominent, well-known people who makes use of imagery, and that's because he uses visualization to actually imagine how he's going to compete in the pool. So imagery can be used in a variety of different ways. You can actually sit and imagine what your future would be like. You can also make use of guided imagery. So you know like those meditation apps and how they like to say, imagine you're sitting on the top of a mountain, that kind of stuff. So what's cool about imagery is that our mind believes whatever we tell it. If you are imagining that you're actually sitting on a calm beach, your mind thinks that you're actually there until you tell it differently. So it's going to respond in that same way. Now an activity that I really love to do with people when it comes to using imagery to cope with mask anxiety is to take a moment and pause, close your eyes if that's helpful, if not keep them open, and just imagine that you're in a space where you can breathe easier. There's a cool thing that happens in our bodies that starts to actually believe that we're there. So you might imagine a calm, safe place where you're allowed to walk around without your mask, without worry about spreading a global pandemic. Which leads me to the next coping strategy, which is all about focusing and latching on to a purpose for why you are in this situation. When we can attach meaning to a choice or circumstance that we're currently in, it helps us to feel connected and less stressed out. So many of us know that wearing a mask is preventing harm and danger for other people. By taking that small step of wearing a mask in your day-to-day -day activities when you are not able to watch your distance, you are making a positive impact on other people's health, well-being, and safety. And I, like many, Thank you. Now, some people find meaning through their prayer or spirituality practices. I want to just take a moment and pause because for some people, prayer and spirituality is a religious connection and experience, and for others, it's not. Sometimes it's more situational. We all have spirituality, whether you ascribe to a religion or not, and that's the idea and connection to other people and other circumstances that are beyond our control. So you can engage in some practices like journaling or meditating, attending a church or synagogue. Your spiritual practice may involve dance or singing or some sort of creative expression. Whatever is going to help you pause, reflect, and recognize that stronger connection beyond ourselves. Taking some time to actually physically relax our body responses to the stress and anxiety we feel by wearing a mask is going to be so helpful right now. When we feel stressed out, our body tends to stiffen and harden against danger because um, I, I hope none of you have ever been in a physical fight, but if you have, you know that um, our bodies are pretty soft. They're pretty easy to hurt actually, but by tightening up and getting hard like that, it actually lessens the ability for harm to occur. So your body naturally does this when it senses danger, whether that's in your mind, perceived danger, or actual threats that are happening right now. Some great ways to do this is by practicing your tip skills or those DBT crisis survival skills. I'm just going to go over one real quick and that is paired progressive muscle relaxation or pressure. This is where you squeeze and release different body groups. So you could do your hands, you could do your toes, you could do your shoulders, you could really do any sort of muscle group that you're needing to relax. So there's something about consciously tightening and then releasing that helps your body to physically relax. And you can do this wearing a mask. Without fail, just taking a moment to pause and focus on one 
thing at a time will actually help to decrease your stress and anxiety when wearing a mask. So this could be something bigger, like just focusing on, okay, I'm just gonna focus on getting to the car. Or it could be something more smaller and minute, such as I'm just gonna focus on staring at this red poster in front of me. You might just focus on being where your feet are, being physically here in this moment, using grounding skills, such as using one or more of your five senses to focus on in that moment. When you're not in a position where you can physically leave the situation or change it, such as wearing a mask, masks are pretty required these days, so I don't think that's changing anytime soon you might be able to make use of the vacation skill. So that is taking a break. So if you can and you have the option or ability to move outside to an area where you're gonna have enough space around people where you can take your mask off and just have a few moments to just breathe without fear of risking anybody else's health, well-being, or safety, do that. If you don't have that option, taking a little mental break or vacation can be helpful as well. Having a phrase or saying or mantra that you repeat to yourself about why it is that you're doing this or that you're doing a good job, whatever it is that's encouraging you to continue wearing your face mask and that you're doing a good job is going to be so so helpful here as well. That's because when we can talk encouragingly and positively to ourselves it can relieve and turn down that dial on the anxiety. If you're looking for a fun way to work on some of these improve the moment skills I have a great activity about how to make visualization dream jars that you can check out right over here. If you found the information in this video useful and helpful, please share it. You never know who you could be helping. Thanks for watching.